Hi, this is your host, Abdul Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us once again, Dave Burbingham, Director of Customer Success at Sios Technology. Dave, it's great to have you back on the show. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me once again. Yeah, and today we are going to talk about, you know, ensuring resiliency, redundancy for building maintenance and security systems. Uh, before we jump deeper into the topic, talk a bit about uh, what are these, you know, building maintenance and security systems and if they are different from other systems? Uh, building maintenance and security systems are separate but related systems that work together to ensure the smooth operation, safety, and security of a building. Building maintenance systems deal with the upkeep and repair of the physical structure and its components, while security systems focus on protecting the building and its occupants from unauthorized access, theft, or other threats. So these systems may be different from other systems such as energy management or HVAC or fire protection systems, but they often interact with each other to ensure a safe and efficient um, environment. Can you talk about what is the importance or if there is any need at all for high availability or resilience of these specific systems. Yeah, the availability and resilience of these systems are essential because they directly impact the safety and security and overall functionality of a building. So ensuring that these systems are always operational and able to withstand disruptions is crucial to minimize downtime and reduce the risk and just maintain the well-being of the building's occupants. Can you talk about how do building maintenance and security system operators kind of maintain a fine balance between the need for security with the need for easy accessibility, ease of use for occupants? Right, yeah, the last thing you wanna see, uh, you think about you know security systems and people just propping doors open, you know, they're all gonna just go out for a quick break and just, prop this door open, that's the last thing you want to have happen, right? So balancing security and accessibility and building maintenance and security systems involves uh, creating protocols and processes that cater to both of the requirements. So this might mean implementing access control systems such as card readers or biometric scanners that are user friendly, and but also maintain robust security measures and then finally provide the appropriate training to the building occupants on how to use these systems effectively and responsibly and to, to you know, make sure they understand the, the consequences of bypassing these systems and, and make that part of your policy. So make sure that they're, they're not somehow circumventing these systems. Can you talk about what are some of the emerging technologies or trends that, you know, can be you know leverage or it can have impact on building maintenance and security systems some of the emerging technologies that could significantly impact building maintenance and security systems include ai and machine learning for predictive maintenance internet of thing devices for real-time monitoring and control you mentioned the ring cameras and and an advanced video analytics for improved surveillance and threat detection. And that goes hand in hand with your machine learning and AI. So I think these technologies will likely enhance system capabilities and streamline operations and improve the overall efficiency of these systems. Are there any specific or very common misconceptions that people may have about uh, building maintenance and security systems and if there are, I mean, uh, how, how you know, is there any way you can address those misconceptions? Some common misconceptions might be that systems um, are overly complicated or too intrusive. And uh, to address those misconceptions, it's really essential to communicate the importance of these systems um, and then to highlight their benefits and then Finally, to demonstrate the ease of use and adaptability to individual needs, I think that's probably you know the biggest misconception. But once people see the benefits and and understand the importance and needs, uh, it's easy to overcome those objections. If you can share, you know, not necessarily a playbook, but if there are some best practices 
for building maintenance and security system operators when it comes to ensuring uh, system availability and resiliency. Some best practices for ensuring system availability and resiliency include regular system monitoring and maintenance. Um, just like you, just like your car, you know, you gotta, you gotta check the uh, check the engine. You gotta replace the oil, and, and you make sure it's running efficiently. So continuously monitoring and maintaining those systems. There might be, you know, software patches, updates, just like any other system. Uh, make sure you're you're doing the maintenance on those systems. But beyond that, uh, you're definitely going to want to implement redundancy measures. So um, whether you're implementing some, you know high availability failover clustering for some of the components, some of the critical, you know, you want to eliminate single points of failures in your system as much as possible. Um, but even beyond that, you know, using high quality components and, you know, so you don't want your, you know, your card readers failing or, or any, any part of the system, any part that can fail is, is kind of your weakest link. And so you want to make sure you're always using high quality components. You want to conduct risk assessments. So you want to continuously um, look at wh where are your liabilities? What, you know, what are some risks that, you know, you're not currently addressing and then make plans to address those risks. And then finally, what are your contingency plans to address potential failures or disruptions? Um, there was recently uh, a major outage, uh, you know, um, a cloud, you know, cloud vendor where they were locked out of their <laughs> locked out of the the room they needed to get into and the system that they needed to get access to was controlling the security and so that was kind of a, a little conundrum they they need to need to resolve so you got to look at all those um possibilities and develop contingency plans to address potential failures and disruptions what role is sios playing how your solutions are helping address some of these challenges that we talked about for uh, building maintenance and security teams. So um, SIOS Technologies clustering software can help address these challenges by providing high availability and disaster recovery solutions. This software ensures that critical applications and data remain accessible and protected even during unplanned downtime or system failures by automatically detecting those types of failures, um, doing sometimes local recovery if possible. So, you know, local recovery, but if all else fails, uh, we have the ability to fail over to the standby system to, you know, make sure that um, the system continues to run even in the event of failures. Now, since we are talking about clustering software, can you provide an example of how uh, the clustering software has helped uh, a building maintenance of security operator ensure resiliency and redundancy. What we do is we, you know, we have a clustering solution that integrates with many different um, building maintenance and security offerings that provide um, resiliency for things like the, you know a lot of these systems have, rely on databases for back end you know you're storing user account information um, you know authorized users and so forth so making sure that critical database is available other components um, you know the management uh, systems it, it often involved in many of these um, you know building management systems just making sure that the data is re, uh, is replicated and available on the standby system. And then again, also providing the HA integrations. So we're continuously monitoring the availability of these systems to ensure that if there's a problem with any component of the system, that we will um, respond to that, uh, that issue and initiate a failover to the secondary system to ensure continuous operation with minimal downtime. Excellent, once again, thank you. And as you were earlier talking about, you know, these, uh, you know, building maintenance security systems, they kind of use different components, different hardware stack, different software stack. How does uh, your clustering software integrate with existing building maintenance and security systems? Our clustering software integrates with existing building maintenance and security systems by working with industry standard platforms so Windows and, and Linux systems and the protocols and the common applications that are um, 
often part of these systems to ensure that they're um, continuously available. So the software is designed to be compatible with various operating systems and, and hardware configurations, which allows for seamless integration into the existing infrastructure. And you know, a couple examples, um, Schneider Electric is a company that provides energy and automation solutions for various industries, including building management. So we have a solution that uh, protects their uh, building management systems. And another one, um, Milestone X Protect is a video management software solution. It's designed for surveillance and security applications. And we also provide high availability for the X Protect uh, management console. So, you know, we're integrated and, um, you know, provide the HA solution for just two, you know, just two examples in, in the um, security and the building maintenance uh, field. Dave, thank you so much for taking time out today and uh, talk about this topic. And as usual, I love to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Yeah, sounds good. It's good seeing you again. We'll talk soon.